But the point is, to me anyway, when it comes to LGD, LGBT rights in the workplace, the world is looking to you. I know that sounds like hyperbole, sounds like an exaggeration, but they look to you. You have more impact than anything the federal government has done, or the Supreme Court of the United States has done, or that Barack Obama and Joe Biden have done, or lighting up the White House. You have more impact. You have more impact in the countries around the world than we do on those social issues. You literally can change the terms of the debate. I don't mean overnight, but literally collectively you can change the terms of the debate and shift some public opinion. You actually put governments on notice. You have a business meeting at a hotel in New York or San Francisco or Chicago, wherever. And you have four or five people, men and women, at that business meeting. And a waiter comes up with a lisp and says, what can I help you with? If one smart jerk at the table said, well, let me tell you what I'd like, you'd all basically have kept your mouth shut. Wouldn't have said anything. Today, name me a business meeting in the United States of America. Somebody did that. The other four people said, what the hell is the matter with you, man? That's what I mean. So many people, so many straight folks have been freed from this straitjacket of what they were expected. They thought they were expected to support. And that's why we've had this exponential move on this issue. Mistreatment by cops, denial of health care, isolation, always in the name of culture, which takes me to my concluding point. I've had it up to here with culture. I really mean it. Culture never justifies rank, raw discrimination, or violation of human rights. There is no cultural justification. Think of the country still be hiding behind uh, this is our culture. Well, the people used to be cannibals. That was part of the culture. People used to do terrible things. It was part of the culture. The progress of humankind has been a steady progress toward acknowledging the basic fundamental rights of other people.